hello friend this is a off grid system so its solar panel is of 245 watt so we will check the current in each series of the solar panels so this series we will see the current so it is about the 7 ampere you can see this is the 7 ampere current is there so its series have a 6 solar panel so this is the next series we will see the current in it so it is about a 5.8 ampere current it generating so you can see the each solar series have a 6 solar panel so you will see the current generating here so here is the 11.3 ampere current so this is a series of a two parallel uh, solar panels that's why it's showing 11 so this is from the this series it is a uh, you can see here 5.2 amperes generating here you will see here one of the point of the series is here it is 7.4 and 7.3 ampere current is generated so total voltage in each series is about a 184 voltage so here it is also 7 ampere current is generated Similarly, we will see the last one, the fifth one series of the panel. So it is generating about 5.3 sorry current. So these all five series are connected parallel. So here 7.3 ampere generating current is generated. So all these series are connected parallel so each series is of a six solar panels and this have a total lines are the five so now we will check the parallel connection of all solar series how much current <coughs> is generating here so parallel current parallel current will be the sum of five series so you can see there is uh, about uh, 30.6 ampere current is generating here. So this is a current generating total system. So this is an off grid solar inverter. So these are the connection coming from the solar panel. So the current generating from the solar panel is uh, 31.2 as we have seen earlier so the output of the this inverter is going to the connected to the other part so we will see the 15 16.2 ampere of the current is passing from the battery so this now the battery is charging more so this is the front panel of the hybrid solar inverter so this is a swastik manufacturer of the solar inverter so you can see the how much voltage AC input AC output is to 30 then AC output ampere is a 9 then battery voltage is over 142 ok and so on so you can see the everything here so let's we will check the how much current is generating so for the output of the solar panel so it is on AC so 9.4 and 
ampere current current is generating for the AC output so we will check cross check here how much AC will be so it is about a 8.9 so this is where then battery 15 that is also okay solar is 32.1 that is also okay hello friend so this is the hybrid solar system so these are the six solar panel connected in a series so each series have six solar panel so these are the five series connected to the parallel manner so output of this series is given to the hybrid inverter hybrid solar in inverter so there are two outputs for the inverters is a, one is a ac output 230 voltage and 9.8 ampere is a running uh, load on it so you can see the batteries are connected to this inverter so this battery get charged when the solar x if the excess of energy generated from the solar power so these are the 10 batteries of a 12 volt of a 200 ampere these are connected to the series so you can see the total power sorry total current generated from the solar system was 30 ampere and the voltage is 153 voltage so we will see the how much power is generated from the solar system so this is equal to the 153 voltage into 30 ampere it is equal to the 4590 watt and the AC output of the power output power of the system this is equals to the 230 into 9.8 so this equals to 2254 watt so we will see the remaining current is utilized for the battery charging so you can calculate the remaining current for the battery charging the total uh, total current from the solar power minus AC output power so this equals to 405 4590 and 2254 that is equal to 2336 watt so you can calculate the charging current of the battery is equal to the voltage across the battery is given on the display of the inverter it was a 100 41 so you will get the 16.56 ampere of the current to the battery for the charging purpose so this is extra power generating which is that is utilized for the charging of the battery so this is used at the night time for the utilization so this is about the hybrid solar system of the solar panel system so thank you for watching this video.